This is your girl Michelle. Mariah, also known as Mariah Amazing. You are tuned in to Melanin Voices. Hey. Hey everyone. Hey. hey. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Anyways, you all, we have a special guest today. What up? It's Lamar Cherry. He um, is joining us, everybody. So yeah, Lamar, tell me a little bit about yourself. What's up? I go by Lamar Cherry. Uh, you can follow me on Insta and Twitter if that's your whole thing. Uh, Cherry underscore gang. I'm definitely happy you guys had me on the show tonight, and I'm I'm ready to talk some some yeah. I'm ready to talk some. You ready yeah. to talk some yeah? Ready to talk some yeah. Well, we always appreciate guests in. Historically, you are our first male guest. <laughs> no, so, remember Delon was one. Like, oh yeah, Delon was a guest. Oh okay. yeah, but he was for like not something like this. It was more health based, but that's true. What, like, what episode number is this? This is our episode. Dang, I'm mad that I, we don't know. I think it's episode 18. What? Yeah, we really up there now. So it's episode 18. It's a mad episode. Don't call me on that. All right. <laughs> mad episodes yeah. anyway so um let's go ahead and get started with melanin media so of course mariah always puts this one as the first one that we right. talk about i love him yeah. okay let's let's go through it <laughs> so of course we're talking about insecure so you really can listen to our stuff if you ain't never watched it it's like nah, i'm just kidding if, i mean you're missing out okay you get the point you'll get the point but um Episode five, that was uh, just this recent episode, right? Right, that was okay. when, um, you know, Issa went out with her little Latino babe mm-hmm. and Molly, you know, seen her parents after their vow renewal and Lawrence was starting to get feelings again for Issa once more. So yeah, that's what you've seen in this episode. Yeah, I did see that. It was, it was a good episode too, so. It was really good. So um, what did you think about yeah. it since we're, this is a good topic for what well, like, we're going to talk about today? Yeah, I, well, as we all know, if you have seen the show, but Issa is going through, like, a phase where she wants to be, she wants to sexually explore herself without any feelings attached to anybody. She just wants to kind of, yeah, explore herself sexually with different people. So that's what she's doing in this, you see it more prominent in this episode than you have in the past ones. So basically, that's, yeah, that's it. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Like, I don't want to give the entire episode away but that's it yeah definitely it's that's all i don't know i'm happy she went back with daniel though she might as well no big deal yeah i mean sure but like not like i don't want her to go fall in that trap again and get back with him like seriously because he clearly i don't want her to hurt him again i don't want her to get hurt i just i i don't i don't know i don't know how i feel about it but i do like daniel i am a daniel fan actually so that's all i said really? yeah what do you think, Lamb? You a Daniel fan, huh? What's what's that mean? They showed him like he's twice fine. The episode. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> he's fine. You're like, what you mean? Who is he? We don't know who this guy is, right? No, nah, like, he... first off, I gotta respect Issa and her mind. She she kills it, man. Especially yeah. right now, like she's like exactly what we need um, mm-hmm. in this time period. So I want to say that, but I don't know. There's a lot going on in Insecure right now. Um, Issa's all over the place. Molly messing with Dro. She talking about she don't want him, and then you see how that happened. But right. I don't know. It's a, it's a dope show. Second man, season she was is, vulnerable. Second season is all over the place right now. Yeah, it is. But it's it's interesting to see everybody how everybody's characters come into play. So, but yeah, yeah, we definitely. Can stop talking about it because I know Michelle like every ep- Listen, y'all, I love this episode. We can talk about power too, <laughs> but we'll um. We'll save the spoilers. We'll save the spoilers. <laughs> I mean, y'all already heard because I got it spoiled for me, so I should spoil it for y'all. Yeah. But I'm sure you guys already seen it. But anyways, um, but yeah, um, on to our next topic in melanin media is the passing of Dick Gregory, activist, comedian, social commentator. Like he was amazing, and so it's gonna be yeah, that one hurt. Go. Dick yeah. Gregory hurt. He was like everybody's like great uncle. Everybody learned from him. Everybody's like favorite person learned from. Him. Yeah, Greg. So that was a tough one to see, though, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, same. I I think I have one theory on what's been happening with a lot of our like leaders, like our back in the <clears throat> like our leaders who were there for like, a, a long time ago, who helped like lead civil rights movements and things like that. And the thing is, is that we can't 
to me, I think we get so caught up in, as a black community in our old civil rights leaders. And they're starting to literally like, honestly, like they're getting old. Like they're starting to die out. Now we yeah. can't keep hoping for like Martin Luther King's vision that been mad long ago where things are clear. We are not fighting the same fight as we fought back then. So I just want people to understand like, I think we get so caught up, like, we we had our leaders back then who got us to where we are now, but I think we're still in a really tough situation where we need to think differently and have some kind of different leaders in our community that are, you know, going for something oh, different. Like, kind of what, um, did you guys hear what Diddy was saying? People had, like, their ups and downs about, like, how he came across with um, protesting and all that stuff. Did y'all hear about what Diddy said or no? Y'all didn't? No. Okay, so he he basically made, like, basically telling people to fight economically, basically. So, like, we're not fighting the same fight as we fought back then, as in, like, we are not, like, we're it's not. not about race anymore. It's not against white. It's, like, classism, basically. It's, it's the wealth. Yeah, and I think, like, right black people, I think we think that if we go out and we fight with, like, weapons and we go out and want to like hurt each other that that's going to prevent change like how it did back then where it's not the same like now we have now we can fight more with our buying power and things like that so what we end up spending our money on and what we end up supporting because a lot of the time we end up supporting a lot of things that don't support us so i think if we start using our money and holding it against you know using that as a power weapon then we'll see a lot of people listening to what we have to say so like it's just different so that's like my theory on like you know seeing all of our like leaders and stuff they're they're leading us but what are we doing to you know get some new leaders for today um i think differently yeah man there's not a lot of like cultural leaders for us right now i feel like back in the day there was so many there were like so many like low-key ones that you could just name uh huey newton like malcolm x everyone on the side and now we only have a few it's like jay-z diddy but everyone's kind of like crazy like nobody can stay on on exactly. top for that long i don't know what it is but we definitely take we take our old leaders for granted. And yeah, not the new ones that are talking like that real talk, like these people like Diddy and Jay-Z and them, like I have my things where they kind of take money from the black community but not and not use it towards it, like in some certain ways. Like Diddy sells bottles of Ciroc to, he sells but, bottles of Ciroc I, to our community though. Like he sells big alcohol bottles to us and we are his main contributors i mean he does do something but diddy still is about diddy's brand and he has not made that about anyone else but himself so they can talk that talk but they do gotta walk that walk too so that's my thing and i feel like they just woke up like this is something that's kind of new diddy and jay-z ain't always been this like social i don't think that's true so, i mean it's good to see but it's, it's definitely new and that's what I'm saying. We need more. Like Diddy and we can't put all the pressure on them. We need, we need more people to step up. Definitely. R.I.P. Dick Gregory. I agree. So rest in peace, Dick Gregory. You know, don't let this be the last leader that, you know, that we remember, <laughs> basically. So um, I know you want to talk about Sonali then. I, I didn't know nothing about this Netflix I'll movie. Like I'm a background on what, um, what it is, but... Yeah, basically, Sonali Thun will be starring in a Netflix movie. So Netflix has turned this book into a movie, and Sonali Thun is the star of the movie. And basically, the book spoke about, um, it followed a lady named Violet Jones, who Sonali Thun will be playing, who had, like, a very flawless life, and it was interrupted after a hair trip, I mean, a hair visit at the salon. Um... So basically, after that hair visit, it changed everything, how she viewed herself and how she starts to live her life. You kind of see that played out in Napoli Ever After and how, you know, Violet begins to act towards herself and towards others. And I don't know, I thought it would be pretty interesting to see. I, I can't wait to see it. I know Sonali Thun will be in it. Um, Lynn Whitfield. There's a lot of big stars that's going to be in this Netflix movie, and I'm kind of excited. So I actually want to get the book and read it because I haven't even heard of the book before until now. So yeah, I haven't heard of the book either. It sounds interesting. Yeah, sounds cool. Yeah, I guess so. Support, support that. <laughs> Maybe I'll read the book. <laughs> I don't know. I have this thing against negative. I think we keep using neg negative discourses to 
um, I have this thing against like the nappy <laughs> thing, so that's my whole yeah, little I mean, theory on that. So. Can we hear that real quick? What's what's up with the nappy? Okay, just a quick thing. I just think we keep trying to change. I think we keep using uh, negative dis like negative discourse into a positive language. Like I, I just don't believe that people can turn into something that such was a such derogatory word and then make it into something that's positive. I just think there's nothing wrong with just recreating a new word for it because it's just not good for me. Like the N word, word nappy, none of that stuff. The word the B word, for instance, like females use it as like, girl, that's not a bad word, but it's like it's a derogatory meaning. So therefore you can try to change it how you want to. But to me, it's very derogatory. And I think there's nothing wrong with changing it. They're like, it's only like that because the white man made it like that. But I'm like, why use the white man's language still? Like, it doesn't matter. Just make your own language and make something better out of it. So that's my thing. So don't, you know, don't listen to my theories (laughs) on stuff like that. I'm just not get your own language start to create your own language <laughs> i know i'm not gonna lie i do call my friends bitch i really do like i, like I just it. don't like it but i do know that i some people don't like it and but so, i get it it makes sense I yeah get it, i take heed to those not a fan aren't a fan of it but it is part of my vocabulary i would not sit here and say that it's not use queen you sister you something else like we do not have to use that 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 negative discord into something that's like oh you know that's my b word like that's not like eh, don't call me that don't call me that so that's me but yeah anyway (laughs) anyway so let's go into the hot button topic um which is drum roll i'll put a drum roll in here when i edit (laughs) (laughs) so drum roll because low-key isa is going through it right now right because she's with uh mexican bay daniel you know she's over here like this is her what Latino, babe. We don't know if he's Mexican or not. He's Latino. We don't know. Okay, we don't know. We don't know Latino, babe. Okay, anyway, she's going through her whole stage. So today, people, our hot topic is whole stage. And I'm excited to talk about it. What about y'all? We excited. What's up, Michelle? What do you think a whole stage is? (laughs) What do I have to start? What do I have to start? Sorry, you always get on me first. So I'm going with you. Okay, a whole stage is exactly what it says it is. (laughs) (laughs) It depends on... um a whole stage is a stage where you go through when you are messing with multiple people and that be sleeping eating discussing anything with them usually a whole stage is most most of the time it's like i'm open to sleeping with that person basically and i'm not looking for relations and i think a stage could be depending on how long you go through it but i do think a stage needs to occur i do think i i am a big advocate for a whole stage i think it does need to happen both male and female i think it does need to happen before you settle down or be with someone so i'm all for rooting for the whole stage i'm sorry like i think east is doing her thing right now and i pre and i think she should uh, as long as she's using protection and doing the things that she's supposed to do no biggie um depending on how long you go through it and when you go through it we could talk about that a little bit later on so that's just my thing those stage. are my first questions by the way okay we that's yeah, because I have I, yeah, I have a theory on like how long that stage needs to be and when you go through that stage. So we can talk about that a little later. Yeah, is not this is not young at she's all. Not. You know what I'm saying? She's not. Kinda, she's like she's got a career. She didn't graduate college. You know what I'm saying? But Mariah, <laughs> go ahead. What you what's your definition of the whole stage? Honestly, I don't like. I don't even know if I like the, I get the whole term whole stage, but I just feel like we just said, what, what we just said it to be doesn't even define the whole. Like, she's literally being upfront about who she is. Like, she's not leading anybody on. She's honest and she's safe. So, I don't know. Like, she's, basically, I just think that it's exploring yourself, um, whether that be sexually fluid or relationship, whatever. Do what that's what I think of a whole stage is since we're giving all of our definitions. That's what I think whole stage should be when you're out there exploring, um, I guess who you are and kind of what you want in, in a relationship or in a man or a woman or whatever the case is, kind of what you're doing doing that whole stage. But, um, anyways, that's that. Do I think it should occur if you think that you need to do a whole stage? Then, by all means, my baby, you should have a whole stage. Do you? Do you? Um, but does whatever every, you're comfortable with. Does everybody sh- you said should does, everybody do it? No, no, Lamar. Lamar, what stage is, stage? is your definition of whole stage? Then we can go into that question. Yeah. Whole stage. I don't know. I feel like 
a whole stage is weird because it's like, are you just having a whole stage or are you a hoe? But either way, um, I think it's just a time period where the girl is really trying to figure herself out. She's really like, wait, 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 wait. What about guys? Okay, okay. What about guys? Where, so uh, guys, what? Just, okay. A person. Sorry, I, I should have made it uh, anonymous. But where a person is really trying to figure themselves out. They don't really want to tie down any knots. They don't want to lead anyone on. And they're just being open and living free, living in the moment. And that happens to come with a lot of sexual intercourse for whatever reason. But um, I think it's just when a person really is not giving no cares and really not giving no Fs. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, what was the first question, Lamar? Yeah, you have some questions. So you, the time stage. I mean, what makes... What differentiates a whole stage from just a girl that's a little promiscuous? Like, what, what, why is it on your stage? Um, I think it's a stage because I think for a certain amount, of, I think it's, it's a stage because of the time frame. I think definitely if you're going to decide to go through a whole stage, then it needs to be in a time frame where you feel like, you know, this is something I'm going to, this is a time frame I'm going to do it. I could be directly after a breakup. You know, you could be like, you know what? I didn't get to live my life. I've been in a relationship for five, six years. This man took, or this woman took, you know, six years of my life. You know, I need to, I need to wild out. So I'm going to spend this time to, you know, wild out. And then when it's time for me to settle down, I'm going to get out of that whole stage and I'm going to stop. So I think eventually, I think. It, so what is it like? Two years? Is it? Like, I, I, or is it? A I think it's really. I think it's up to you. I do think. I do think it's up to you. I do think men have a longer term for whole stage to me, um, and I just be, and I think that just because men, they are, you know, they built differently. So I think it's it's definitely something that I feel like that's why that mean? happens to them more so than women. And because socially constructed, if a woman does what a man does, it's not as appropriate. And we do get that term hoe and it doesn't go away. But honestly, like, Corinne Stephan, ain't she married? I'm just saying, there's a lot of hoes out there that's married, okay? And there's men out there that take hoes, like Kim Kardashian. And I'm not saying it's good to be a hoe. I'm just saying, no matter what, someone's going to love you and forget your past. So anyway, I think a whole stage does depend on a certain amount of time that you decide to go through it and i think it's perfectly okay so it's okay that a guy's is a little bit longer than girls girls don't like look at that and be like okay well he was he's 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 not young anymore you know he's 27 28 and he's still like out here messing with the young chicks he's still in the club but he's going through his whole stage is that like not okay or would you guys look at that as like no, that's not what I'm trying to do right now. That's not what I'm trying to be with in a guy. I, I actually appreciate the whole stage, honestly. I say go through your whole stage. If you're 27, if you're 28, if you're 30, if you're 40, <laughs> if no matter how old you are, if you're not ready, if you're if a man is genuinely not ready to settle down with his woman, he is not going to be with you, no matter if you're the perfect woman or not. So let him go through his whole stage. And then once he's finished and he feels like he's ready to settle down, he will settle down with you. But like judging a man based off how long his whole stage is, it's not going to change if he wants to be with you or not. So that's just me. Better now than when you married, but exactly. Even if it exactly, that's what I say. You know, whatever. What you think, Mariah? What's going on over there in your head? I think the same thing. Like I feel like it's more. Honestly, I feel like it's more acceptable for men to do it than women. Like I feel like. If a girl does it, it's, like, always hung up her head. Like, you know, she, she used to be a hoe. But if a guy does it, it's, like, you know he got that on his system or <laughs> some weird stuff. Like, I just, that's how I feel. Like, I just really feel like it's more deemed acceptable in society if a man does it at a later stage in life than if a woman does. You know what I mean? Like, if say, say we did it in college. You'd be like, oh, all right, she was in college. It's cool. It's acceptable. But say we did it, like, later on, they'd be like, bitch, you a hoe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Versus, like, oh, she was young and dumb kind yeah. of thing that's how i take it as yeah it, it, it does suck it does suck the double standard does suck because there there are some men that really do take that into consideration when he does want to settle down 
So he might say like, you know, you've been around the block a few times. I'm not, I'm not willing to settle down with someone who's been with my homeboys, who's been with my friend of a friend. Like I know you've been around. So there's a lot of dudes that are, who won't take a female if they know that she's been through a whole stage. So I know that for sure. But it depends on like where that woman's at in her life and what she wants to do. I feel like where you, when you find a good man or you find someone who's going to settle down with, you got to find someone who's not going to judge you based off your past. And if, if you, if this person solely wants to not be with you based off your past and that person shouldn't be with you. So we got to ask ourselves, like, why do we even care about the whole stage and, and, and the whole term in general is kind of relative because what makes a hoe to me is not going to mean she's a hoe to the next person. And what's a hoe to you is maybe not a hoe to me. But I mean, I'm, I, I think I'm all for the whole stage, quote unquote. It's just a, it's a, it's a slippy slope because like, is there multiple whole stages? If, if, okay, I've been in a relationship for five years, but I'm 35 and I got a couple kids and, you know, I still never was able to find myself because I was in this relationship for this whole time. But I got kids who I really have to um, I really have to be there for. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's a slippery slope. I'm not I'm not too sure. If a man's willing to judge you based off your host, and then he don't need to. Like, I think it's fine. Honestly, I think it's perfectly OK, especially like Issa. I'm sorry, Kiwi, giving her example, but she's showing us that. She's on a whole new generation of what's going on like today. Like women are not getting married early anymore. We're having kids later. We're going through stages where, you know, it's not going to be, we're going to be about, you know, in our close to our thirties or late twenties when we do decide like, all right, now, like I'm going to go through my stage and then I'm going to settle down. So I just think things are happening a little later for us than it was back in the day. Like I think a whole stage to my grandpa is what he was married to my grandma. Like, I feel like back then women had no choice but to accept their men their whole stage and they had to stay with them through that. Compared to now, it's very open. Like, people are very open about what's going on and people definitely want other people to know, like, you know, we not together, I'm doing me, you doing you. And I think that's perfectly okay, like, to me, so. Yeah, people people are more conscious these days. They're, like, they're more individuals. They're not really living in the traditional standards and... I mean, it definitely works out in my favor, but it's it's just weird to see, like, the change. I, so I my question, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Wait, I don't know, though, because they was wilding out they in was, the 90s, too. Was. Like, Hell yeah, you, you seen, <laughs> yeah, you seen. So I feel like every generation kind of has their, like, their whole stage where they go through that, that whole stage, quote unquote. But in 2017, I just think social media makes it so aware like in the 90s, you could be low key because you didn't have these pictures being posted every day. You didn't know whose girlfriend was this boyfriend. And but now it's like as soon as one snap is posted, oh, they mess with each other. Oh, they oh, mess sure. with each other. So. So my question to you, Lamar, is will you mess with a woman who says that she's been a hoe before? <laughs> I mean, she can't just come out and say, it. like, that's, <laughs> no, that's like, like, no, I'm just saying, you've been with it. I'm just saying, it's like further on but, into your relationship. No, nah, all right, we've been dating for like five months, and then she's like, all right, I, I never told you this, but I actually messed with this guy, and you know, I've been with this person. No, not tell you no names. Just tell you, like, I went through my whole stage. Like, not give you names. Like, she don't have to give you names. And she just set, keeps it like, she keeps honestly, it general. In my opinion, I don't really like to go into the past in general because we're we're getting older now anyway. So it's like everyone basically has a past. Everyone's been in three, four relationships anyways by now. So for me to go in and go through every last person you've been with, I think that's corny. And I think guys that do that kind of corny. <laughs> for one, I wouldn't want you to do that to me. But for two, it's like, like I said, we're getting older. You shouldn't really care. As long as you guys are here in this moment and you guys mess with each other because what she went through with that last person you know that might have made her who she is now so if she never went through that you probably wouldn't have the girl you are with now so in my opinion i just think we shouldn't care as long as you vibe with a girl and she's she's not a hoe in your eyes you know she's not messing with your boys she's not out here sleeping with every dude now like 
I'm not gonna lie, your your wholeness can be erased. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hate you. I thought Dreya said that. Didn't Dreya say that? Yeah, she did. I I agree. It It can. And that's why she's married with her kid now. Exactly. Exactly. After a point, you just grow up and you're like, all right, she might have, she was a hoe, but I don't even talk to this guy no more. Like, who, she's she's a hoe in whose eyes? You know what I'm saying? So the the word hoe is just, it's, yeah, it's, it's, like what does it mean? I don't know. It, it means something different to everybody. Right. So should we change the the name? We should change the name of the video. <laughs> <laughs> your open stage. Your open. I don't know. Your curious stage. Curiosity. Your, your finding your curiosity yourself. kill the cat. I don't know what. What? Should we curious, change the what? Name? The curious stage. <laughs> you thought about that before. I did. I thought that so was funny. Yeah. No. Maybe we could change name because, like, I just talked about. <laughs> derogatory words and you put the word hole no, in it and it, it changes amanda, everything amanda seals i i like I she's her. yeah i she's been around for a minute but i'm like just like now following up on amanda seals and she's dope but she, she got this thing called the vagenda like who's oh, on who's yeah, on the vagenda that's, that's one My word i just like adopted mm. <laughs> Uh, it's your agenda vagina vagina who agenda. you plan to give your cookie to basically mm, okay so so we so we all on the same page <laughs> on the cast today no one's against the whole stage i'm not against it i was, do you my motto is do you boo you you gotta be independent and if if i if i think you're a hoe i can't really say nothing because i know about myself and about five guys who didn't did the same thing so it's like why I, I can't really call you a hoe and we're doing the same thing it's if you're willing to take me i should be just as willing to so take lamar are all your are all the guys like you or do you think a lot of fellas would not you know do this whole stage thing i think like i said people are more aware now people are like growing up people are realizing that shit is different and I think it's definitely a minority of guys because a lot of guys are like still close minded, just like people in general. But people are waking up. People are realizing that like you you shouldn't really be judged. And there's a lot of girls out here who are like really moving that forward. Amber Rose, Rihanna, um, India Love. I love India Love, by the way. But there's a lot of like young girls out here who are like role models to these young girls. I followed this girl. I'm not gonna say no names, but I followed this girl <laughs> on Instagram the other day, and she she like 19 or 20, but she posting really provocative pics, and it's like 10 years ago, she's definitely getting that. Oh, she's a hoe. She been with this guy. She's been with this guy. But now it's just like she's she's being carefree. It's like it's hmm. it's, it's changing. That that word is hoe is like hoe is like becoming like a good thing. In I, I, okay, I don't know what's so going. I'm. Everybody want to be the next anyway, Rihanna. Anyway, so I'm going to cut you off right there. Anyway, so I'm going to cut you off. Right <laughs> only, okay. Do you guys want to get Only because... Oh, go, ahead. go ahead. Like, I'm not for the Amber Roses and stuff. Like, I think... Like, I, I, I'm i for having your stage when you go through being... uh, You know, going through your whole stage or whatever. But I'm not for being... um. Like raising awareness for it, like yeah, show your nipples, show your titty. You do an extremist, but it's like who wants something that everybody's seen? With every movement, you need that extremist, though. So then it gives you space for people in the middle to kind of you know find their way. You need that, you need that Malcolm X, that straight left wing person to be open to those different things. And if Amber Rose is willing to put herself up and take that criticism it's like you gotta give respect off of that in my opinion like she's willing to be critiqued you know how many people was gonna laugh at that bush pick but she's like i'm gonna do it because somebody has to do it so that's Mm. why i'm willing to support i guess i just want more positive women role models like I don't know i don't see enough of them i see i think too many of them is like the indias and the ambers and the girls who are being provocative and i think that's not all women are and i think it's very objectifying so i just think that, that i want them to show you know more than just that 
I want a balance. If if, if you're going to so do that, balance. then be smart. I agree. Know what you're talking about. I'm not saying Amber Rose is the smartest tool in the shed, but... I'm just saying, like, what kind of standard are they creating for our young girls and for our young boys? I just think people choose to gravitate towards that, too. Because, like, like I said, there's people out here who are, like, trying to help not only women, but we're talking about women now. So, like, Amanda Seals is, like, Mm-hmm. She's one, and it's like I didn't really know about her because she's not posting her her nipples online. Like that's what people see. That's what gets the likes. But there's other people out here who are doing it. There's just not enough awareness. But mm-hmm. I think that's kind of where like you and Mariah are important to like like spread that that whole vibe because there are people who are doing that. It just takes two people just gravitates towards boobies because sex sells. Like that's 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 a no brainer. But there are people out here like. Issa and uh, Amanda Seals and Kiki Palmer and like people who are actually really trying to like say something and I I hear them but does everybody hear them maybe not because they're not posting their ass on Instagram. That's true. You make you're making a point. I'm gonna have to talk to my little brother about this. I want to see if he has that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want to know like what standards these females are making for them because it is a social media driven generation now. So it's like if you see that, then are you expecting your girl to be like those women? Because that's not, you know, to me, that's not something that you need to first be looking for. And I guess that's something that's, you know, of course you're going to look for that, but it's like that's not the first thing you should look for. And I just for black women in general, I guess you're right. There are women out there, but do we see them? Do we hear them? Do we tune in to them? Not necessarily. We want to hear about the drama. We want to hear about the booty and stuff like that. Like, I bet if I post this podcast as whole stage, more people will listen to it than if I post it as curiosity stage. <laughs> <laughs> that's serious. It's marketing. That's serious. It's true. It is marketing. But that's what people are gravitate towards is It's, is a, it's a slippery stage, man. Uh, that's where I like that's why like Dave Chappelle got out because you kind of you got to know that like what you're doing is going to get that attention but some people are going to take it the wrong way it just comes to be open with that criticism that's yeah. true so therefore I'm keeping this as a whole stage for y'all listening the girl um there were some people that were like that replied back to me like oh you go crazy for saying this I'm like but are you gonna listen to the podcast though because then you'll see like how we really actually define yeah. it is not saying or shaming people for doing it. We actually agree to to do it. Like, do you? We actually say you should do it. We're not downing anybody for doing it, but you don't see that because you just automatically hold and you think that we're yeah, like exactly. shaming you. So, so, I mean, they're probably going to listen to it, like you said, more often if we put host stage. Right and if now. we don't. Sad, sad but true. Right. Sad but sad but true. Sad, so sad. what about the um so i guess you can get into now the snapchat convos what happened are both of you guys anybody saying anything oh yeah um i had a lot of women responses the men didn't really respond but that's okay that's why we have our boy lamb here um but yes so women responded i guess i'll share a load of theirs i got a lot of great responses from them um but yeah so one girl sin said um, I love her, Sin, I love Sin too. Um, her Snapchat name is Flower Fro Lysing. I will um, say, pronounce that Flower as in Flower, Fro as in Fro, L I C I N G, Sin. But, anyways, Sin responded to it saying that um, she defines the whole stage as a moment of sexual expo- um, exploration. I feel it's defined as a whole stage because it typically occurs after negative experience with the partner. I've definitely had mine and enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, and then she said that she actually got the experience and that she wouldn't have experience if she were to be tied down or committed. Um, and this happened the year her being 25. And then she got to understand a lot about herself um, because of her having it. And um, yeah, but basically she's found her soulmate and now she's married. So she said that it was necessary for her to have done that because she feels like it led her to the experiences she had, which ultimately led her to her now, um, partner. So that was her take on the whole stage. So pretty, um, pretty much synonymous with what we were saying. Basically exactly what we were saying, right? Um, shout out to Sin and Sean. Shout out to Sin. We love you. Um, but yeah, so basically I, and I got another one. From one of my close friends, Musu. <laughs> she basically was saying that she thinks in college, 
um, a lot of girls try the whole stage, but can they begin dating and, or casually dating and casually having sex? She, um, she found out that she she just thinks that that's just not for her. Like she does not want to do that because she invests her feelings into somebody. So she just thinks that this would want to be a, a smart decision on her part if she were to partake in it. But she doesn't see it as being a bad thing. It's dangerous, women. As soon as you her. open that garage and let oh, somebody yeah. in, then yeah, it can affect it us. Can it affects us more. Open up a can of worms. It, it can. It can really, if you're like, that's why Issa was like, I'm not trying to feel shit. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to have no feelings. Like, I'm trying to turn off because I don't, what you begin to feel, it's like, damn. Like, you're, now you're like, okay. <laughs> now you come to your senses and you're like, okay, well, I don't want to do this no more. And right. I actually want to be in a relationship again. Um, so there's that. But me, I know, personally, I'm too jealous and too, I have too many feelings. I could not do it. Like, I. Yeah, and your vagina is too precious. I know myself. <laughs> and your vagina is jealous. Mm-hmm. It's too precious. Mm-hmm. Everyone well, can't have precious. some. That's kind of that's kind of conflicting though, because Michelle said like everybody kind of has to go through that to really like figure out if this is kind of where they want to be in the future. So I'm like, it is it is conflicting. You're right. You're right. I'm not saying like okay, but I am saying like oh yeah, it is precious. But at the same time, it's like don't knock it till you try it. To me, to me, like I I I, I can't imagine getting married right. and, and um. I, because it's like curious George. Like you why would you wanna Yeah. George. Like, like what if I feel I feel I feel what you're saying. I feel like I haven't gone through that because each I've literally been in a relationship every time. Like after one relationship I'm in another one. So I haven't had a time to be like pause. Let me go and <laughs> <laughs> explore other people. It's been like relationship, relationship, Hold relationship. Up. So I let me had that. say something. Like I don't think whole means like you having sex with multiple. No, no, people. no. It just means like without yeah. A commitment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like you're doing you. Like you don't have to be out here like everybody. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. No, it could be one person and y'all just not with y'all not with being um, together seriously, or it could be like you're with other people, but. Yeah, I just haven't had the time to because if that meant I would be cheating, so. <laughs> Unless you had different partner. boyfriends every time, though. You could have went through your whole stage if you feel like you're going from relationship to relationship with different dudes. Uh, yeah, but I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Uh, well. It was like serious, like, we together. <laughs> and I feel like you yeah, He should appreciate you that. You don't got to just do it just because every girl's like, all right, you got to have a whole stage. Like, yeah, no, gonna, I know. I would you, definitely you'll do it because it. I would want to do it. You feel when that whole stage is necessary. Like, when you just got all this tension built up, and you're like, you know what? Fuck everybody. I'm just going <laughs> to do me. I'm just going to live and fuck what everybody thinks. And exactly. It happened for me when I was like 19. <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily the whole thing but, but just like, like, just being like I don't really care about like what people think I'm gonna do what I do and if people choose to judge me I oh, mean wow. that, that's on them that's on them like this is my okay basically yeah exactly yeah but yes and I got um, a lot of other responses as well but basically for the main consensus was basically there were different no one was against it no one was opposed to it some people said that it was for them or it wasn't for them but no one was against it at all so that was interesting to see, actually. So I thought somebody would be against it, but nobody was. So that's cool. It's a new that generation is. out here. I told hell you. yeah. It feels like parents, they would have been like, ah! Uh, how? <laughs> what, you, what you mean a how? 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 Y'all, y'all I, think, <laughs> I think our parents are more of a better job of hiding it than um, saying right. it. I think they definitely, yeah. like, I definitely heard some stuff from some adults going through some whole stages, but it, they don't want to tell you that, though. That's the thing. They want to act like they all goody-goody when, meanwhile, like, you ain't all that good. So I think they just do a better job of hiding it. I have three sisters from, we all have three different mothers, so. <laughs> so I'm just, there's that. <laughs> hey. Won't speak on it, but, you know. But, um, yeah. So that was Snapchat Combos. As usual, follow me on Snapchat, Mariah underscore amazing, so you can chime in every Monday night or Tuesday morning to say what you got to say about our upcoming topic on knowing the voices. But yeah, that was it y'all for this Snapchat combo this week. And black business of the week. Black business of the week is crown of glory hair products. So I follow this girl on Instagram. She's like, she's so funny, but she was posting how she started her natural hair journey and she loves these products. And she was just saying how, Literally, they smell so good that it's got her hair to like be healthy and more manageable. 
And I was like, let me see what the hype is. So I went ahead and bought me some. Um, I haven't gotten them quite yet, you guys. I have to give you like a follow-up on like how they actually are. But once you go to their site, it's called crownofglory.com. And as always, we'll put the link in the description bar. But anyways, they have all kinds of scents. They have peach. Um, I think they have, I don't know. They have lavender, vanilla. They have, um, I think they have mango. They have mint. They have all these, like, um, these smells to their hair products. And it's, they have oil. They have hair moisturizer. They have everything. And it's all natural products. They make them handmade. So I'm excited to try them out. Um, if you guys want to go to their site, once again, it's Crown of Glory. Um, NAC.com and yeah let me know what you guys think but I'm gonna get my products first try it out let you guys know how I feel and then if you guys like it then um, you can head over there and purchase some stuff but yeah it's a black owned business and they have a lot of options for natural hair you don't have to have natural hair to use the products but um, it is tailored toward natural hair but you don't have to have natural hair to use their products perfect so yeah all right perfect well that is always good that we hear some of your great natural hair. Because I know you all about the natural products, Brian. So you always be having the good stuff. <laughs> be having the good stuff. Um, so thank you, Lamar, for coming on our show today. That is, we wrapping it up. Do y'all have some um, last minute whole stage quotes or something? Stage quotes? I can't <laughs> y'all got some uh, going away, you know, some advice for the people. You know, what should they do? Curiosity killed the cat. Hey. Uh, that's going to be that stage. Uh, that whole cat killed All right. Stage. Literally. All right. Just be safe, y'all. I mean, like, if anything, for my advice, yeah, is like, safe. if you're going to do it, you know, just make sure that you, you know, you, you, you cover up. All right? Don't be out here spreading no germs and, you know, doing that something that's going, you know, permanent damage to yourself. So if anything, is like, yeah, have fun, but don't have so much fun that you forget about life, um, uh, life consequences so yeah yeah i would like to piggyback off that and say just be safe and be honest with who you're with like and you should be good like just be upfront honest and safe like and don't be scared to ask them if they've been tested because y'all already fucking so at that point you shouldn't be scared to ask some questions you know how people, yeah I, and if I you see know. some green stuff <laughs> Shut up. Some tests, you know, you know, do you, you know, do your check, you know, do your check and everything beforehand because definitely not worth it, you know, not worth the stage if you can't, if you can't, you know, do nothing ever again with anybody else. So just keep that in mind, and we definitely, definitely appreciate you guys tuning in to Melanie Voices. We really appreciate guests as well because we like to hear everyone else's voice. It's not all about Mariah and I's voice. We do have our opinions, but we also want to hear other people's opinions so we can make sure that everyone gets a good word. Put it that way. Yeah. So tune in on Melanie Voices. Yeah. Great show, baby. Oh, yes, come on again so whenever you feel like me. you know I'm I'm dedicated for this topic or whatever you want to do, you know just you know let us know, let us know. For sure. And Appreciate everyone that. else, you know you can go to melaninvoices.com, melaninvoices1 at gmail.com. You know we melanin voices everywhere, so do that. We're so the podcast app now too. A hey. we're the podcast on. app now, so y'all tune in, y'all go subscribe, subscribe. You know let everyone know about us. Tune in uh, next week. We can't wait to hear um, hear from you guys. We out. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar, can you say bye to please. the people? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. I'm over here staring at you like, okay, maybe you can't tell who I'm looking at, but whatever. Lamar says bye. He says peace. Bye. Bye, bye. everybody.